Hey, this is John Johnson from Capture Productions, Inc. Um, you can find me at johnjohnson101.com. Today's video is going to be about the Canon T4i. I'm sitting here with my good friend, Mr. Lloyd Halsell. He's a great engineer, musician, video editor, um, lighting expert, and more. So we're going to just talk about this basic camera and see how we can get the most out of it. And today's topic is going to be primarily on the frame rates that you can get out of this camera. So, what well, do you wanna... uh, I recently purchased my uh, T4i mm -hmm. about a couple of years ago. I had been in the um, Sony world using the uh, the 2100. Those were good workhorse cameras, and also they give you a lot of versatility. But then, um, when I got uh, exposed to DSLR, it changed everything. Uh, much lighter camera, superior. Uh, Film technology, all on a, all on a smart card, about the size of a postage stamp. So, uh, and they come in various sizes. So, uh, got a great deal for a little pub here at B and H, <laughs> out of New York. Uh, as a former uh, television engineer with uh, the school system, I did a lot of purchase from them. So, this is a great one. I have uh, this camera here is a T4i, and I have an 18 to 135 millimeter lens on, and I have a matte box that you can that I got from a company, let's see, what was this, uh, some years ago uh, that I used to use with my uh, uh, 2100, uh, actually PD-170, so this helps a lot, this can be very versatile, sometimes if it's not raining too hard, uh, I had to keep some of the rain off of it, and it's, it acts as a sunshade, so anyway, um, real good little tool to handle, to have. Okay, so we're just going to cover this one topic real quick and then, you know, we can cut out to something else if you want to continue to talk. So, in your, you can follow these steps, hit your menu button, which is right here on the camera, and go over to the fourth icon, you'll see by scrolling the top button right here, and you'll see movie record size. You hit set on that. Okay, I got to switch to the movie. Okay, now, menu. menu, and then we're going to go to the fourth. Go over to that fourth one right here. Oh, I forgot this is touch screen too. So, menu. I'm over at the fourth one. It looks a little bit different from yours. Yours is a little different. So is that go because over of software? It could be the firmware. Firmware. Okay, yeah. so there you go. Okay. Yours is the third one. Mine is the fourth one on this camera. Good point. Could be different. I bought my camera two years ago. You might have a more more recent firmware than or I Or I updated. I can't really recall at this time. But, mm -hmm. you know, we can check in that and talk about firmware updates on another video. So, um, go to movie record size. Okay. Hit that. And then you can see that you have 1920. 1920. I can't really show you and do it at the same time. So, let me hold it up. 1920 by 30, 1920 by 24 frames, 280 by 60 frames, and 640 by 30 frames. So once you select that one, you can actually get um, more. If you go down to a lower frame rate and a lower um, um, aspect ratio, like from 1920 to 640, you can actually get more recording um, out of your um, SD card. Okay. When would you think might be appropriate to use 640 by 30 in, well, in I a think particular application? If you have like a real long event to shoot and you really don't care about the quality of the event, like say you're recording um, a super long lecture, mm -hmm. you can just set your camera up on a tripod and just hit record on that 640 and then you can get a lot of um, content captured without changing your SD card. And it depends on the size of your SD card, too. But, but that brings up another question, but are there still some limitations on how long the, the, that the camera can capture at one time? Well, I think standard, these cameras can probably record 10 to 15 minutes, yes. but I'm not really sure mm -hmm. as far as like if you um, change your frame rate and your aspect ratio if you can get a longer recording but okay. if you install the black magic lantern um, firmware um, you can actually set a feature which will re it restarts the recording for you automatically so you can just set it and forget it and it'll keep recording until you run out of um, space on your card so that's another way around to okay. get more 
um, longer time. recordings time. automatically, but it'll just do it in different um, um, file form. Not different file formats, but different files. So you'll have, instead of one file, you'll have 10 or 15 files, depending on how long you record of the same function. Where can one find this uh, firmware upgrade? At the Magic Lantern website. Is this a is this a is this shareware? Is it a free download? It's it's free, it's free. and you can donate too um, if you want to, um, but it's pretty much for free. Okay. All right, there you have it, guys. This has been a quick overview of um, different frame rates, which are Canon T4i. This is John Johnson from Capture Productions Inc. You can find me at johnjohnson101.com. This is my good friend again, Mr. Lloyd Hallsell, a great engineer, great editor, a great musician. So um, we'll have some information how you can contact him or myself and leave a note. If you like this video, share it, embed it, and get the word out so that we can learn and grow together. Thanks.